What is an it girl? That's a good question. Mm, an it girl. Actually, when they first called us It Girl, I was like, what the hell's an It Girl? I don't know how we even got the name It Girl. Well, they called me that, and then I started hanging out with other girls, and then they called all of us that together. But I don't think our group actually knowingly did that. We just were doing our own thing, and I don't know. People just wanted to know more. I think the best way I heard it described was an It Girl is somebody who is accepted by society and loved by the masses. I'd have to say it's someone that knows what she wants, is on top of her game, and successful in her own way. They just care about everything you do. And I think the fact that we all are genuinely friends, people just keep wanting to know more. I started out as a model, I also host, and now I have my own business. She knows how to make relationships and she knows how to follow up on them. She's kind of like my best cousin, but also worst enemy. Not many people know that she's actually really smart and has an economics major, and she uses it to her advantage. She's kind of like a secret nerd. She was able to turn her simple modeling career, she created basically an empire for herself. So George is a diva, but she knows what she wants and she gets it. She is a diva, I agree, because I'm the same, so we have the same standards, and we're not sorry for it. I'm a stylist. I do a lot of commercial work. I do style billboards and magazines as well. I do editorials, and I work a lot with celebrities. Liz and I met each other because I was her muse when she was starting. She was a fashion assistant. From that, she became a fashion editor, and now she's taking the world by storm. Liz is a visionary, and I think a lot of people think that it came easy because she comes from a good family, but she actually worked really hard to get where she is, and she's one of the number one stylists here in the country, and she's always abroad now representing us. I met Liz through George. George was studying in Australia. I had no one to hang out with, so she gave me Liz. <laughs> Liz and I get along so well because we really understand each other. We talk about fashion all the time. Her career has really just blossomed and we're all here behind her, rooting for her. With Liz's determination and the way that she thinks and you know the vision that she has for her life, I'm sure there's a lot more in store that you know the world has yet to see of Liz Ray. My friends call me Belle. Growing up, I've always kind of been groomed to try to enter beauty pageants. Since my mom was the very first Filipina Miss Universe in 1969. Belle is my first cousin, but she's honestly like my sister. We grew up together, we're a year apart, and so we did everything together. But she was the leader, which was weird, because Eva was older than her. I met Belle through George. We got closer because of my first heartbreak. Belle would always be there for me. It's just so weird that this girl is full of wisdom them and they, I, like, I don't know where she's getting it from. I always thought that I was going to do something in education or in the field of medicine. I never thought I would be an actress, but here I am. A lot of people are actually raving about her acting and we were all kind of surprised because she always kind of said she didn't want to be in it and she's doing really well. Like I never thought we'd both end up in this career. Definitely not her. She was a tomboy growing up. She'd always have like shotguns in her pocket. To see her flourish in this world is so cool and so unexpected, but she's doing so well. Like sometimes I see her scenes and I'm like, is that what you do? <laughs> is that your work? Belle can be harsh sometimes. If you don't know her, you probably might think she's a total bitch, but she's really motherly. Like she always makes sure you're fed. Everyone calls me Sauce. I started up as a fashion designer and makeup artist and then kind of ended up in front of the camera. I've done TV shows, I host, I've been singing, I've done a few movies, and now I'm here. So Len and I were childhood friends. My dad was actually the best friend of her dad. She was a makeup artist that I would beg to do my makeup all the time because I loved her work. And all of a sudden, she just was never free because she became a huge star. Everybody loves to work with her because she basically extends herself out for people. She paints, she draws. She's game to do anything, which is very different from me. I guess opposites attract, so that's why she's one of my best friends. I know Solène through Belle and Regina. 
all of us are bitches and she's the nicest one. So I like that balance in the group. So this year has been so crazy for me. I got married earlier this year and found out that I'm pregnant because I was so surprised to find out I was pregnant. I wanted to, <laughs> I wanted to surprise all my friends too. We sat down and Josh was exhausted. We have something to tell you. So I was like, oh my God. I don't know if it was something with Belle or maybe something I had done wrong. George just looks at me and she's like, with her annoying face. <laughs> I said, don't, don't lie because right now I'm super sensitive. And I started crying, like, are you serious? So I just cried because there, my heart was just full of emotions. <laughs> I cried so much. <laughs> I was such in a bad mood. I didn't want to see her, but she kept insisting on meeting up with me. She said it's very important. Pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Hearing Georgina pregnant was the best news I've heard this year. Like, cause I know that the kid will be mine. I'm gonna be the favorite aunt. Out of all my friends, I thought I was gonna get pregnant the last for sure. I'm four months pregnant. <laughs> And you are to look on it. <laughs> I just completely was not ready. It's so weird because I thought I was just maybe eating too many pastas and rice and like, you know, eating the carbs too much. Nope, it was a baby. It'll be interesting <laughs> to watch her journey into this uh, motherhood. George like sees a baby, she's like, ew, get away, it's pooing. I don't even know what to do with children, so that's gonna be a big challenge. <laughs> Nico and I have been together for about almost six years now and we've been married for a year. Sad to say, but we don't really spend time together. My schedule has been really crazy and it's just kind of hard for me to plan things because things always change last minute. Have you been to the office lately, um, La Lola office? No, I just wonder, they talk about the franchise for Mindanao. We're not going to open yet there, we just have to do the Cebu branch first. I'm going Sunday, can you come? It's just the Sunday morning and then we can come back like last flight. We never spend time together, at least we have that one Sunday. You always say, let's do something on the weekends, let's go to the beach, let's do this, let's do that. And now we have the opportunity and you can't do it. Are you kidding me? You are the one who has a schedule that cannot be planned. Yeah, exactly. I cannot plan it. You can plan it and you can plan Sunday. I still try to find ways to, to be with him and to hang out with him, even if our schedules are always conflicting. And what more if we have a baby? You think we're going to have time? We're not going to have time for anything. For me, it's like I can have a kid in the next 15, 20 years. I'm a stallion. What? <laughs> it's you. The natural clock is on you, not on me. We were talking about having babies back in the days. I used to always tell him I wanted one at the age of 26. I'm 31 now, so it's been a while. Then I told him after the wedding, and it's a few months after the wedding, and now I'm telling him I want a baby maybe end of next year. Start trying, not right away. What I don't understand is why you care about anyone else when we're talking no, about I don't a baby, care. right? Like it's, it's us, right? Like are we ready, are we financially ready are we mentally ready are we physically ready and right now i'm just kind of freaking out of like losing a lot of work if like someone says oh my god you're so fat on tv even if you don't really give a shit, it's it will always affect you anyone else has a baby or what everyone else thinks who cares right it's us i know it's I know. our decision Stylize Studio. It's a styling company based in Manila. We're prepping for a huge campaign shoot the following day. And then suddenly I got a call from the model. The model that we chose, she's backing out. She was canceling last minute. What do you do? Can you find me a, another model? Because the model that tomorrow is backing out. Wait, and the shoot's at 8 a.m. In styling, you always have to be prepared for whatever reason, like any stylist would do, we'll look for another great one. What are the choices? Definitely Clara. Yeah, I love her look. I think it's Clara. I'm actually happy that she cancelled because my favorite model was in town and I booked her and good thing she was free.
I got engaged last year and I've been planning the wedding for almost eight months now. But unfortunately, some things in my life didn't go as planned. I was actually with Liz. It was about 2 a.m. and I got a call. I didn't really know what number it was, so I passed it on to Liz and she answered and she just looked at me and her eyes were like shocked and she said, it's about your dad. I hadn't seen my dad. We have a weird relationship because I sent him to rehab in 2014, so he's kind of been angry at me because of that. 12 days after my dad was in a comatose state, he passed away. I went over to Bell's and she was already packing. I'm like, what the hell's going on? Because I thought she was leaving in like a week from now, but she was actually packing to leave that night. The trip to France is an emergency trip. I had to be there because Adrian couldn't fly alone. I didn't even have time to tell anyone, and it's a good thing I had my visa. This is my fiance's life. These past few days, Adrian, he hasn't been feeling so well. Obviously, I want him to be 100% before the wedding. It's so soon, it's in like three weeks. So basically, we have to fly to France and we're just gonna figure out what to do after. They can't seem to find what it is here. And it would be just anxiety, but girl, he's lost eight kilograms. For some reason, the hospitals here don't really know what he has. For your wedding, like, you, have, you have your papers now, like agents yeah, clear. I don't have my papers yet. So then kept prodding me, asking me, what am I gonna wear? Have, have I planned a wedding? I just, I couldn't help it. What about your, your papers and everything? Girl, I don't know. That's not my priority right now, okay? I was just trying to be a friend and trying to get her mind off of things. I think I kind of stressed her out a bit. That was not my intention. I just wanna, I just, I want, I just want you to be well. Well. All these questions that she had, it wasn't on my mind. It's not my priority. Like, I don't really care. I was just really stressed. And I still have to go to work. I still have to put on a happy face. I still have to post nice things on Instagram, even if, like, my life is so shit right now. Before I had this baby, my original baby was Sunny's and probably still will be my first child forever. I set up a company called Sunny Studios. We started off with sunglasses that's now branched into prescription eyewear and we have over 50 stores around the country. We weren't satisfied with just sunglasses and eyewear and stuff. There will always be evolution of the brand, but for now we've decided that we love eating and we love things looking cute, so we made our own cafe. Eric, is this gonna live here? Can I take out this sticker? Also, the contractor has missing missing some stuff there. So the Sunny's Cafe opening has been way more stressful than any of us could ever have predicted. For the last few months, we have just been working our asses off like crazy. What's been some of the feedback from our friends and family night last night? Um, I think the major feedback was from outside, you don't know what to expect inside. I run Sunny's with my three partners who also are my best friends. Martine Kahukam, she's my cousin. My other business partners, Eric and Bea, they handle all the like difficult stuff of the business, like the operations, the finance. And Martine and I together run the marketing and creative department. So basically we make sure Sunny's looks cute and people know about it. <laughs> people think that it's a dessert place because we have a free dessert thing and they're like, okay, it's just dessert. Do for people Sunny's not coffee. know that we worked on the food for like no, It's just a coffee year. to cocktails. They don't think there's food. Okay. Good thing we have a big signage here, but um, we need something up front. How can we open a cafe without it saying what it is outside? So Last year, we decided that we wanted to do a cafe. We might have decided against if we knew how hard it was. Okay, so it's our big opening tomorrow. Are we ready? Are we ever ready? <laughs> That's the question. Are you ever going to be we ready? We face a lot of concerns. So. Okay. We just are just desperate to open and we just want people to share the excitement that we have for the cafe and see all the hard work that we put into it. Hey, Belle. What's up? Um, I'm still in the office, just working overtime. How are you? Where are you now? I'm in freaking Strasbourg. We just got the results from Adrian's 
doctor. As in right now? I don't know if it was for her wedding prep. I just know that there's some sort of emergency. It's on a vacation because we were also in the hospital. We met like 10 doctors here. He's gonna stay here longer. I have to go home because I have to work. I haven't even had time to breathe. Because her dad just passed away. Her aunts are in the hospital. Her workload is just too much. I just feel so bad because she has so much on her plate. And now this. There's so much drama in my life. I'm like, I don't know where to start. The wedding planner in Italy said that we might have to get married in Manila. She was telling me that she might not get married in Tuscany. I mean, who tells you when to get married or not? I've been quite busy recently because I've been shooting a TV series and a sitcom and George has been traveling so much in the country like four days a month. So I didn't really get the time to catch up with her since her wedding. So I kind of invite her at home so that we can just chill and everything. I, I felt so bad for Nico the other day because we were all at um, Brayden's birthday party and he was alone and I was like, Nico, I see you more than I see Selene. And I actually don't see you guys together. And he's like, well, uh, you know, I never see my wife. <laughs> and, and I was like, yeah, no, it's true. And so Bella and I sat him down and we were like, we need to get Selene to not work as hard. She needs to just chill out about work and stuff. Like I was telling Selene, you know, before you entered this business and before you became extremely famous, you were much happier. Like, I need to spend time with your family, with your husband and with us and just live a little. So wait. Arthur, what is the deal, Leo? What's, <laughs> What's your plan? Because you can't be married in long distance. I've always said, just why you get married. I know. So then actually keeps bugging me on like, where are you moving? Are you moving to Shanghai? Is he moving to Manila? But the truth is we actually spend and see each other more than Selena and Nico because we don't live together. We spend really great quality time together when we are together. Can you text him actually? Yeah, yeah he's supposed to be here. The boyfriends, well, now they're the husbands, love each other so much. And sometimes we think they're closer to each other than we are as girls. I guess they have a club on how to deal with us together. <laughs> it's a support group. <laughs> That's, That's a family That's drink. So, Arthur, this is a little uh, intervention. Intervention. <laughs> Interventional interview. When are you moving here? <laughs> so, Nico and I have been discussing it. You can open a business We're setting together. up a few businesses together. Yes. Really? Yeah, but at the same time, mm -hmm. I'm going to stay in Shanghai for the moment. As a friend, of course, I want to be selfish and have her stay here, so Arthur should move here. Yeah, it it cannot be like rush, right? You have to be you know, step by step and you have to be planned. You cannot just or move here like out of the blue. Uh, I will just work on my sales pitch to, yeah, but to get every, my wife to move with me. Every time she's no, <laughs> coming, do you, do you know her? She's never <laughs> going to move. The reason why, for me, if you get married, you're already gonna be together. But if they're okay with the setup of her being here and him in Shanghai, then that's fine. But it will get tiring after a while. You can't do it for years. <laughs> yeah. What are you guys doing <laughs> after Belle's wedding? Are you going around Italy? I'm, go I'm going back to work. No, you're uh, not, babe. We already talked about this. No. It's we're budget staying. season. No, we're staying a week, remember? Maybe. I had to come home from France because I still have work here. I'm working on a TV show. The story revolves around me. If I'm not there, they're not gonna have anything to air. So, Anato, I'm asking for the French embassy, not about my dad's death certificate. This isn't helping the situation. I'm back to reality and my family wanted to throw us a little dinner to welcome me back and kind of just give me support because of everything I've been through. I came home to my cousin's house and my entire family was there. They were already eating. So my mom comes from a huge family. She has 12 brothers and sisters and we get together all the time because we love eating. And we think it's the perfect opportunity to tell our whole family that we're gonna have one more member. Hey guys! You can stay here. Hey guys! Hey guys! Yeah, 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 come here. Sure. We have an announcement. Come in, come in, come in. Come on, guys. 
settle down. We have an, an announcement. Now it's time to tell my whole family, and they're going to be super shocked. We have another member who's going to be added to the family because George is pregnant! I was so happy to announce that George was pregnant. Now we can all celebrate together. I guess finding out that I was pregnant was such a shock to me, but seeing how happy it made my friends and family, I do feel really blessed. I love hanging out in Liz's house. It's so comfy. <laughs> Last night, I invited the girls over just because I feel like a lot's been happening. So any chance that we have to spend time together, we grab the opportunity because all of us are so busy. So I love having just sessions with the girls at their houses. Finally, Georgina's revealed that she's pregnant to the world. So they thought it was you? No, I was like, this! <laughs> <laughs> I was like, mom, I'm a virgin! And we usually just talk about our life and ourselves and then everybody kind of chimes in. The wedding, which is in like a few weeks. Oh my god, I super broke down, I swear. Because like, imagine everything happening, like my dad, and then he was in the, don't I know, it. I'm not gonna cry. It's like weird, when you, when you least expect it, that's when you cry. But like, right yeah. here now, I'm not gonna cry. George, Liz, and Solen are really extending themselves for me. Right now, I'm just taking it day by day. The French embassy in Rome is giving us a hard time because we submitted the documents a bit late because nga, he was in the hospital. The whole wedding thing was expected. It's really hard to get married abroad. I went through it two weeks before my wedding. I didn't even know if I was getting married in church or not. I don't know how I'm going to get through with this month because it's just been such a crazy storm for me. So the only way I can be there for Belle is just to kind of hold her hand through everything and just tell her that everything is going to be okay because I really do believe that. I mean, things aren't difficult forever and, you know, this will pass and I keep telling her that. Yeah, everyone just keeps saying it's going to pass but it hasn't passed yet and it's been already like more than a month. Right now, I still have so much paperwork, both government and Catholic, to do for the wedding. I don't know what to prioritize. I don't even know if it's going to happen. On the next episode of It Girls. Three of us in wedding gowns. It was kind of like a movie scene. <laughs> this is your first time? Girl, why would I try a wedding gown? Yeah. Can I find a boyfriend first? There's nothing like hearing the heartbeat of your child to let you know that this is really happening. Do you want to know the sex? Oh my god! Why are going to the embassy if you meet completely requirements? Where is Adrian's birth certificate? Jean, you have this for one, almost two weeks. I felt like all eyes were on me. I just panicked, my hands, my hands were shaking, and the day is not my day. George?